It really hurts me to say this, but 99% of you watching this video right now are probably making these mistakes. You're wasting your time, and most important of all, you're wasting your money on things that you could have for free. And I know this because not that long ago, I was one of you. So in this video, I want you to learn from my mistakes so you can avoid making them in the future. And also, I'm gonna tell you a story about how I almost ended up in a jail in India. And if I had photo room back then, I would have avoided it. I think whoever ever did any creative job knows that creativity is this annoying thing that comes and goes. And there is a reason why people often say that the best ideas come to us when we least expect them, right? The number one mistake that I feel like we're all guilty of making when we first start using Photoroom is not realizing that image guidance even exists or not using it enough. And that's why whenever you see something that inspires you, you take a picture, you keep it on your camera roll, and then when you want to create background with Photoroom, you can use that picture. You can upload a picture straight from your camera roll that you have saved in your inspiration folder. You take that picture, Photoroom analyze the picture for you, and it creates AI generated background based on that picture. And honestly, I feel like it's such a brilliant feature that it's not yet getting the credit that it deserves. And I'm pretty sure that soon we'll be hearing way more people talk about it. Mistake number two, cropping images instead of resizing them. Cropping is so 2023. Resizing is the new kid on the blog. It's the kid that you want to be friends with. So let's say I took this really cool picture at the beach. And what do I want to do with this cool picture? Well, you want to brag. I went to the beach. I'm living the life. There is a feature on Photoroom called resizing. And what it basically does is creates AI generated picture around your picture. So I'll show you an example. That picture of me standing and posing in front of a sea, it creates sea and beach around it. And also Photoroom provides you all the sizes. If you're an e-commerce seller, a photo room basically gives you like every single option, no matter what platform you're selling on, you can find enough photo room and you know the exact size. Mistake number three, not realizing that photo room is a great tool, not to only edit pictures, but also to create art. If you want to create your own art piece from scratch, the best way to do it is to use AI images, which is a future available for iOS users in the US, but will soon be available worldwide. You can choose the style that you're going for, try different options, customize it. Like here, I wanted the whole background to be pink and generate images until you find something you like. And here is my little creation. Let me know in the comments how much I should charge for it. Mistake number four. What will happen when I will run out of fingers? Mistake number four is making life unnecessarily complicated for yourself when you're using Photoroom. Let me show you an example. In this office, we like our matcha. We have this little thing where we do like matcha time every day. And instead of going to every single person and asking everyone individually, like, hey, do you want matcha? Do you want matcha? Oh, you over there, do you want matcha? What did we do? Who wants matcha? Me. Me. We ask the whole office at the same time because we do have this like really cool megaphone. The same rule applies when you're using Photoroom. Instead of editing every single picture individually, you can use batch mode and edit all your pictures at the same time. So if you're taking multiple pictures at the same time, a common mistake is to edit each one of them, which is unnecessary. Don't do it. It's a waste of time because thanks to batch mode, you can upload all your pictures, remove background, resize them, whatever you need, all with one click. Mistake number five, spending money on something that you can do for free. Story time. I arrived in India and I needed a visa, right? So I had to take an ID picture before going to India. And when I arrived at the border control, they stopped me because I did not look like myself on my picture. Maybe they thought I was a criminal. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe they saw my picture and they were like, okay, this girl, She's going to do crimes. At the end, there were like six immigration officers and I was standing there for like half an hour and they're all looking at my pictures, discussing among themselves, trying to decide whether it was me on my picture. Like, no, it's me. Look at me. Like, same.
I want to break free. And this situation would not happen if I would just take my own picture. On Photo Room, there is a feature that allows you to take your own ID picture. You can take the picture in your bedroom and it will probably look 100 million times better than the ones that you often take it like photographer. So moral of the story, take a proper ID picture. Otherwise you might end up in jail. Mistake number six, you don't use depth effect. Depth effect is a very well-known trick used in movie industry, especially with movie posters. On YouTube, YouTube thumbnails, a lot of professionals use depth effect. What is depth effect? It's something that you can create on photo room. Let's say that you have a picture of sea and a boat. You can put your text behind the boat. What does it do? Well, it basically makes your picture look more dynamic. It makes your object stand out and it gives it a more professional and polished look. Numero seven, not using shadow for your product shots. I know a lot of people know this one by now, but I just wanted to mention it here in case you were one of these people, like for example, me four weeks ago, I didn't know that it was a thing. When you go on Amazon, Etsy, whatever e-commerce platform, you will see that the most successful sellers, the professional sellers, they all use this one trick. They all have very professional, plain, wide background, no distractions but what photo room also can do is add ai generated shadow to your product so whatever you're selling perfumes sneakers candles it will make your object appear more realistic it will add depth to your picture when you add shadow to it and last but not least number eight not realizing that photo room gives you so many options to truly customize your ai generated bug i think by now we all know that photo room is the queen or the king are we a queen or king of ai generated background you can choose create background and then there are three different options here which i would highly recommend you to explore especially the manual function is my favorite because photo room provides you with the space to write a little essay if you want to write a little essay to basically write your own description of what you're looking for and i know what i want I want Thailand, but not just Thailand. I want Bangkok, but not just Bangkok. I want to be in Chinatown. You know, this is very specific. Like photo room is probably not going to give you this suggestion. But if you go on manual, you can write it all. You can be like Thailand, Bangkok, Chinatown, eating rice or noodles. Sky's the limit, basically. Whatever you want to create, you can put it in there. And photo room will create AI generated background based on that. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We have so many more cool videos coming out. And if you have any suggestions about cool features of Photo Room that I didn't mention in this video or mistakes that maybe you've done in the past, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. And please subscribe, okay? I already said that, but I really want you to subscribe. Bye.